Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to evaluate with that calculator the square root of 64 squared plus 49 squared plus 15 power 4 divided by 2. So this equals, we can have our square root here. So instead of 64, we have 8 power 2 and this raised to the power of 2 plus, this is 7 power 2 and this raised to the power of 2 plus 15 is simply 8 plus 7 and this raised to the power of 4 and everything here is divided by 2. So we proceed. The next thing is for us just to try and multiply the exponent. That's what we are going to do next. We multiply this and this so we are going to have 8 power 4 plus 7 power 4 plus 8 plus 7 power 4 then everything here is divided by 2 so we can say let x equals 8 and y equals 7 so we are going to have the square root of we will have x power 4 plus y power 4 plus we have x plus y or power 4 and everything here we will simply be divided by 2. So what next can we do at this point? Let's copy out this. If we have x plus y or raised to the power of 4, we can make use of Pascal triangle. We have 1, 4, then we have 6, 4, 1. So this simply means we are going to have x power 4 plus 4x power 3 times y plus 6x power 2 times y power 2 plus we have, let me bring this down here. 4x times y power 3, then we have plus y power 4. So if we rearrange this, we can have x power 4 plus, let's have y power 4. Then we have plus 6x squared, y squared. Then we have plus 4x power 3, y. Then finally we have plus 4xy power 3. We are just rearranging everything. So that being said or that being done, the next thing we are going to substitute this into our square root. So we are going to have the square root we have the square root of remember we had x power 4 plus y power 4 already. We still have this, so we, let me copy it down there. So we have x power 4 plus y power 4 plus the whole of this. x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 6x squared y squared plus we have 4x cubed times y plus 4xy power 3. Let me extend this and everything here is divided by 2. So what do we do? Let's call it like terms add up. So this will give us we have the square root of x power 4, x power 4, so we have 2x power 4, then we have the same thing plus 2y power 4, then we have plus 6x squared, y squared, then we have plus 4x cubed times y, then we have plus 4xy power 3, and everything here is divided by 2. 
So the next thing we are going to do is we can decide to factor out 2 because all the coefficients here are even numbers so we can factor out 2. We have our square root. So we have square root of let's bring out 2 times so we are going to have x power 4 plus y power 4 plus we have 3x squared y squared then we have plus 2x power 3 times y then we have plus 2x y power 3 and this is divided by 2 so definitely 2 will cancel 2 this cancel this and we have this square root of x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 3x squared y squared then we have plus 2x power 3 times y then we have plus 2x times y power 3 now the next thing we are going to do is we can decide to rearrange this so we can as well rewrite this as the summation of 2x squared y squared plus x squared y squared so we are going to have something like this square root of x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus x squared y squared then we have plus 2x power 3 y then we have plus 2 let me bring this here x y power 3 so at this point x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 2x squared y squared what we have here simply means we can rewrite it as x squared plus y squared all raised to the power of 2. If you expand what we have here, you are going to get exactly what I've just underlined. So remember, we still have our square root. So that means we will actually replace what I've just underlined here with x squared plus y squared raised to the power of 2. Now the next thing is we have plus here is x squared y squared we can have it as x times y raised to the power of 2 plus here we can as well factor out 2xy and this will multiply x squared plus y squared. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can say let x squared plus y squared equals a and x times y equals b. So we will replace that with those variables. So let's do that now. We are going to have, instead of this, we will have a power 2 plus, instead of this, we will have b power 2 plus, this is 2xy, that is 2b times a. We can have it as 2ab. Now, the next thing we need to do is, what we have inside this square root here is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2. Because if you actually expand this, you have exactly what we have inside the square root. So that means we will replace this with what I've just written down here. So we have square root of A plus B raised to the power of 2 and the square root here will cancel the square here so we have this equals A plus B so recall recall that we had A equals let me take us there X squared plus Y squared X squared plus Y squared and B equals X times Y 
So that means we are going to have a plus b will now be x squared plus y squared plus x times y. And don't forget that. Also recall that we had x equals, what was the value of our x? 8 and y equals 7. That was so, I think let us get back there to be sure. Yes, here is it. So we go. So we are going to just insert those values here. We have 8 power 2 plus 7 power 2 plus 8 times 7. So 8 power 2 is simply 64 plus 49 plus. This is 56. So let's add up this 64 plus 56. This will give you 120. And 120 plus 49 will give you 169. So this becomes our final answer. And that's it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.